Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to add Expo Speech to your Expo React Native app. So what Expo Speech is, is basically something that lets you convert text to speech so that you can, say, write a spelling app or something like that. Or just speak out whatever words are you want to. So just installing the Expo Speech package and now I am going to write up my code. So I'm going to import from the Expo Speech package. And I want to have a button so I can press on a button so that it will say the text. And I want a text input to input um, what I want the uh, Expo Speech to say. So I want a name in my state and that's because I'm going to have a text input that refers to the name so that it can um, say hi to a particular person. So for that I'm using react state. So when the text changes, I want to call that set name function and the value should be the name. And I want a button that I can press and when I press it converts text to speech. So now I want to define my speak greeting function. So this is the text that I want to speak out. I'm just going to make it high and whatever name has been inputted. And then I'll speak out that greeting. I also want to pass in some options. So for now it's just going to be empty. And note that you should put const in front of that. I haven't. I forgot to. Um, but my GitHub code will have that. The options allow you to change things like the voice, the rate, of speech and the pitch. So because I want to be able to show you how to change the voice, I want to create this function to list all voice options, which will give me a list of different voice options. It's important to note that they are actually different for each device, so you'll actually want to give users um, the option to select from the list of voices if you're choosing to pass. Um, you won't be able to choose to pass um, the same voice in for Android and iOS because they have different voices that they use. So yeah, I can call this speech get available voices. And then I'm just going to log it so that you guys can see what voices are available. And so you can choose how to... Um, Choose which one you'd like to use and test out different ones. Um, but yeah, if you're changing the voice inside an actual app, I'd recommend letting the user choose a voice because it's um, it's you can't be sure that the particular voice you want is going to be available on all devices.
So I want to use effect to call this list all voices options after the component's been rendered. So now I think my code's okay, I can expo start and load up my app. And when it loads, I've got the text ins put there, but you can't really see it. Hi, undefined. Hi, undefined. Hi, undefined. So you can see it said hi, undefined, and that's because I, when I set my initial state, I didn't pass in an empty string, which I, which I should have. Um, so I'm going to do that now. That way I'll just say hi instead of hi undefined. I also noted my input is kind of hard to see. You can't tell it's there. So I'm just adding some extra styling here just to help people see it so they can click on it more easily. So it should make that much easier to see. And I'll need to give that style to the text input. There you go, you can see the text input now. So if I type in something. Hi, test. Then you can see that it speaks out whatever I've put in there. Prefixed with hi. So now I want to try out a few different voices just to show you um, what to do. You can see what language it is based on the language right there. I'm just going to start with this one. It'll have a bit of an accent because of the language. So if I go back to the documentation, I want to pass in a voice identifier right there as the voice property. And if I save that, how you choose? You can see that's got a bit of an accent there, so I might choose a more English based voice. Let's choose Fred. Hi, YouTube. So there's a few different um, things you can do with this now. You can set uh, the rate, the pitch, and the volume. You can also set callbacks on done and stuff like that. So it's worth looking at the documentation if you want to do something a bit more complex. Hi, YouTube. Setting the pitch anything higher than one will make it faster, oh, higher. Setting the rate anything higher than one will make it faster. Hi, YouTube. Setting the rate anything lower than one will make it slower. Hi, YouTube. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. Um, if you have, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate all the support.